Welcome to the governance voting demonstration and guide. I'll be giving you a quick glimpse into how voting is done on Flare and Songbird using the portal built by Flare. Now throughout this video, I'm going to be using MetaMask as my wallet. However, any wallet supporting Flare and Songbird can be used in conjunction with this portal. So the first thing you'll see when you open up the portal to the voting tab is your current votes and then a list of proposals. Your first question might be, now how do I get votes? Simply put, this is based on the number of your wrapped token balance, your native tokens wrapped balance. This means if you're voting on Flare, you must hold wrapped FLR, while on Songbird, you must hold wrapped SGB. You might notice that I'm currently connected to Costin, and this is a testing platform. As a result, the native token is CFLR, so I will need WCFLR during this demonstration. Now there is another tab called Account, which we'll briefly look at. You can see how many native tokens and wrapped tokens you hold, as well as your delegations in the FTSO system. Additionally, you're also able to wrap, unwrap and transfer tokens, as well as manage your FTSO delegations. So before you can participate in governance voting, ensure you have wrapped tokens. So let's do that now. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate wrapping tokens. So I have 27 native tokens which can be wrapped, and I'm going to wrap 20 of them to leave some balance in my account. It opens up the transaction to sign, and I click confirm. Now we wait for the network to confirm the transaction, and our balance is now updated. We can see I now have 5,670 WC flare. Now if we go back over to the voting tab, we can again see our current votes, which is equal to our wrapped native token balance. In your case, this will be either your WSGB or WFLR balance. So we can also see now that it's actually updated to the balance with the new wrap tokens I just added. Underneath this, you'll also see an option to transfer votes. This allows you to give votes to another account to vote on your behalf, such as if you hold many personal accounts, you can group all your votes into one account. Now I'm going to transfer all my votes from this account to another one. So I'm going to open up MetaMask to switch accounts. I'm going to go down and I'm going to copy the address that I want votes to be transferred to. So I'm going to copy this address and switch back to the original account and then click on transfer votes. We can now click transfer votes again and then in the input, input the address that I want the votes transferred to. After confirming it, it will ask to sign the transaction, which I'll do through MetaMask and click confirm. And we can see successful transaction. And we can also view this in the Explorer if we wanted to. Now, keep in mind, it does note that you can change delegation and remove delegation. This, however, is completely unrelated to the FTSO system. So do not be concerned about that. This is simply for governance. I'm going to now close this and we can see your current votes is zero. Now, if I switch back over to the account that I just transferred the votes to, we can now notice that the votes have actually increased. I now have additional votes to actually utilize in governance. Now, remember this number, because when we go into the proposal just below, there will be an important distinction that we need to be aware of. So let's open up this proposal, which is currently active. That means that we can actually participate in it. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open it up. So let's have a quick overview. We can see that the voting starts on the 16th of December at 6 p.m. in my time zone and ends on the 17th of December at 5.58 p.m. in my time zone again. Now we can also refresh this data if we want to refresh the proposal. We can also click on proposal description which takes us to the GitHub repository where the actual content of this proposal is hosted, which will be in the Flare Foundation GitHub repository. And then we can go to technical information, which will drop down some data. So there are a few pieces of information here, but the most notable one is the vote calculation block, which is going to be important 
for when we look at our voting details below. But quickly, here is the proposal creator. So this is the address that created or proposed the current proposal. We have the proposal contract, which will just take us to the contract on the blockchain explorer. And then the proposal ID, which is generated when this proposal was created. So if we go down to vote in details, here is the vote calculation time. And this is related to the vote power calculation block here. So this vote calculation block has a timestamp and this timestamp is correlated to this vote calculation time. Now this is important because you can see here, I have only 1200 votes available, whereas I actually just transferred votes to this account. So why isn't those transferred votes available here? Well, that's because I only just transferred them and the vote calculation time was on the 16th of December at 5.44 p.m. in my time zone, meaning I must have had wrapped tokens at this point in time to be able to actually utilize in voting in this particular proposal. So therefore the transferred votes I just made previously are not able to be used in this proposal right now. Now, before we cast our vote, let's have a quick look at the vote and results below. So what we can tell from here is that the proposal is active and we can currently vote in it, as well as there is rejection criteria. Now, without going into all types of voting available, this voting proposal is actually rejection based, meaning that it will pass unless it is voted against and meets the criteria of a 75% turnout, meaning that 75% of the tokens available to vote must participate and 50% of those participants must vote against this proposal. Otherwise, it will automatically pass. So currently, even though there is criteria suggesting that this proposal will not pass, it has not got the criteria of the participation, the threshold to better actually pass. So this will still pass even though this criteria has been met here. So let's cast our vote to influence this proposal. I'm gonna click on vote for, and we open up MetaMask, which allows us to sign this transaction and we click confirm. And we can see our transaction was successful and our votes have been cast in favor of this proposal. Now we could also have voted against it if we so wished, but we can also now see the majority condition has also been updated to even reduce that threshold criteria. So it's now voting even harder against the rejection of this proposal. And with our vote now cast, we just must wait until the voting ends and once we can see the final criteria, we will know whether the vote for this proposal has either passed or if this proposal has been rejected.